Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about the differences between web designer and a web developer. Now, I'm sure you must have heard of these terms and you must also think that they are almost the same. However, they are completely different. Now, in this video, I'll help you understand the different job roles and responsibilities and skills of a web designer, and then we'll compare the same with that of a web developer. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now let's begin by understanding who exactly is a web designer. Now, a web designer is basically a graphic artist who is responsible for designing the layout, usability and visual appearance of a website. Now he plans and designs the layout, adds elements to the website. He also performs digital retouching and image editing. Other responsibility includes meeting with clients to discuss requirements and also designing products that are user friendly, appealing and visually effective. First up is UI designer. Now UI designers play an important role in the design of a website. They prioritize interactions. More specifically speaking, their role is to enhance the usability of a website and optimize it in a way that helps encourage conversions. Moving on, we have UX designer. Now UX designers help ensure that the website is structured in a way that encourages visitors and delivers a positive experience. Their role is to create human-centric designs that are based on data-driven decisions. This involves conducting a lot of research and testing to gather and analyze data, which is then used to create final design choices. Lastly, we have visual designer. Now, visual designers, as the title suggests, work with the layout and visual elements of the website. This work combines the aspects of both UX and UI design. The duties of a visual designer are based on ensuring that the interface is both aesthetically pleasing and easy to use. Now that you've learned about the different types of web designers, let's look at the skill set required to become a successful web designer. Now this generally depends on the role and the specialty. However, generally speaking, here are some of the important skills. First up is HTML and CSS. Then we have understanding the principles of website design, responsive and interactive design, understanding user journey mapping, being updated with branding, color theory and typography, and also being proficient in design tools and software like Adobe. Now, of course, there are a few non-technical skills that are important for web designers. They could be strong communication skills and time management skills. So this was all about web designer. Now let's look at who exactly a web developer is. Now a web developer builds a website and maintains them using different programming languages. They basically take the web design and turn them into a website. Now they also have to collaborate with clients, stakeholders and designers to understand the vision. In a nutshell, they take the ideas and concepts laid out by the designers and turn them into real, live and fully functioning websites. So what exactly are the different types of web developers? First, you need to understand that a website basically has both the front end and the back end. So the front end is something that you see and use, something that the user interacts with and the back end does all the nasty tasks. Now the back end also involves fetching data from the database. So depending on these, we have front end developers that code the actual website using CSS, HTML and JavaScript. And then we have backend developers that code the database and server using advanced programming languages such as PHP, C Sharp, Java, Ruby and SQL. And we have a full stack developer who does both the front end and the back end for a website. They have a solid understanding of how these parts work and function together. In addition to coding websites using CSS, HTML and JavaScript, full stack developers also set up and configure servers, code application programming interfaces, 
query databases and more. So now that you know the different types of web developers, now let's look at the different skill set of a web developer. First up is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now as we discussed earlier, these are required to create the front end of the application. HTML is used to format text, titles, headings, arrange graphics and so on. CSS is a style sheet that allows to alter and style different web components, be it spacing, font, size, etc. And then JavaScript is a powerful client-side scripting language which is used for enhancing the interaction of a user with the web page. Now JavaScript also offers a wide range of frameworks and libraries. We have React, Angular, Vue that help in creating interactive and beautiful front-end. We also have jQuery that helps with back-end. We have version control systems like Git and GitHub. Now Git helps manage project files. It keeps track of the entire history of things that the user is working on. GitHub is also a web-based service for version control using Git. Now the user can look at other people's code, identify issues or errors and even propose changes. Lastly, we have several backend frameworks like Django, there's Python, there's Node. There are different databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL and we have Oracle. So having a knowledge of all of these make a very good web developer. So now that you know who a web developer is and who a web designer is, now let's go ahead and look at the differences between the two job roles. Now web development refers to building user-friendly websites based on client specification, while web design deals with the aesthetics of the website. Now a web developer transforms designs into fully functional websites, while a web designer transforms ideas into visually appealing designs. A web developer builds applications using languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript, while a web designer designs web applications using tools like Adobe Photoshop, Sketch and so on. It is crucial for a web developer to have good coding skills, while a web designer should have good graphic design skills. And lastly, a web developer has to keep themselves updated with the latest web frameworks and libraries while a web designer has to keep themselves updated with the latest design trends and color palettes. So then you must be wondering which one to choose. Well, that depends. If you're inclined towards coding, then I'd suggest a web developer role. And if you're inclined towards creative aspects and aesthetics of a website, then I'd suggest the web designer role. Now, this isn't that easy, is it? So I'd suggest one way to decide between a career as a web developer or a web designer is to think about the skills and attributes required by each position. Now compare those to the skills you currently have. Keep in mind that lacking knowledge in one area isn't necessarily a reason to rule it out. If you're just starting out, there are plenty of resources you can use to improve and expand your skill set. Now there are several web design and web development books online courses and development resources that will help you hone your skills. You can also check out Simply Learn's website for courses and get a certification on completion. They offer a postgraduate program in full stack web development. Check out their course and the overview. If it suits your requirements, then go ahead and opt for it. They also offer a UI UX design expert master's program. You can also again check out the overview and if that is what you're looking for, then go ahead and enroll. And so with that, we come to the end of this session. If you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section below. I hope this video helped you. We'll be back with more interesting videos soon. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.